Hey guys, it's Lee, and I'm back today with the Dollar Tree haul for you. So over the weekend, I went down to BWI to pick up our daughter. She's home. And you know, while I was down there, I hit up some Dollar Trees. I went early. I didn't make her go to Dollar Trees. Anyway, I also went to Ikea. So one of the Dollar Trees was kind of close to Ikea, and the other two were closer to the airport. I'd really appreciate it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. After I show you everything I bought, I'll then have pictures of items I saw but didn't necessarily want or need but thought you might like to see, so make sure you hang around for those. So the stores I went to were this one in Middle River, Maryland on Pulaski Highway, the one on Arundel Mills Boulevard in Hanover, Maryland, and the one on Annapolis Road in Hanover, Maryland. Okay, so let me show you what I bought. I also went to the store in Manchester, Pennsylvania. I only got a few things there. I'm gonna show you those first. A lot of Dollar Trees are getting their school supplies out. So I bought five of these lined Post-its. Is it the best deal? I don't know, but I wanted them. These are super sticky notes and you get 45 in each pack, so I got green, orange, yellow, blue, and pink. And then I picked up these disposable coffee cups. You get four in there, and they are 16 fluid ounces. They're nice to have when people come over. If you've been here a while, you know that whenever I go to Maryland, I pick up the shelf-stable milk. I thought I actually picked up more of these, but I didn't. I got the 2% milk. I got two of these. This is Marcel's Modern Pantry, and it's one quart. Some people say they don't like it. My husband and son use it in their coffee, and they have no problem with it. And then I got the whole milk as well. Here's the other one of these. I thought I picked up two of each, so I'm going to have to check my car. And then this time, I've never seen the chocolate milk before. It's 1% chocolate milk. Um, let's see, where's the... It does have 24 carbs per one cup, so if that's something you're interested in knowing, um, you know, you know that ahead of time. I got a few of these. And honestly, this is something my son would put in his coffee because he likes chocolate flavor coffee. I also want to mention that everything I bought was $1.25. And then by Prairie Farms, I found this 1% low-fat low fat chocolate milk, and it's moolicious, in case you were interested. These are half pints, or half pint boxes, and I just picked it up for whoever wants to try it. I only got one of these. I did get an extra of the chocolate milk. Next, I picked up some of these Chef Boyardee raviolis. Yeah, they're all the minis. I couldn't remember. They did have the regular ones as well. But I got three of these just to have on the shelf in case somebody's hungry and they don't feel like cooking. I love this Pirate's Booty Cheddar Blast. I'm sorry, it was all crinkled. So I picked up a couple of these. 50% more cheese. Baked, not fried. No artificial colors or preservatives. These are corn puffs. So they're kind of like just cheese puffs, but they're delicious. So I picked up a couple of these to go with lunches. Then I got this Sweet Chaos Dill Pickle Popcorn made with real, real dill and vinegar. I'm excited to try this. I love dill pickles. I mean, I could just drink dill pickle juice. I have no problem with that. They are so good. Um, so I got this to try. I'm not going to try it right now because it's morning when I'm filming this and it just doesn't seem right. <laughs> And the only other food item I got, I saw, I think Anna from Only In My Dreams haul these, salted caramel peanuts. It just sounds really good, so I bought one of these, and it's a six ounce container. I almost forgot about these. I found the Peelers Gummy Mangoes. They're peelable. I don't like mango, but my kids do, so I thought this might be fun. And my kids are adults. I call them kids, but they're all adults but I thought they might like to try them. If not, we'll find somebody who will want them. 
found another food item. I picked up more of these Monet Original Entertainer Crackers. Lucy's whining about something. If you hear her in the background, she's our cat. Um, anyway. Aw, oh, she's bringing me a toy. Hold on a second. Okay, I like to acknowledge her when she brings me a gift. Anyway, <laughs> every time I go to get some of these, they're gone. Everybody here loves them. I still haven't found the vegetable ones. I don't like the wheat ones as much, so I picked up two more of the original. And I think I'm gonna put one in the back of the cabinet so they don't get eaten so quickly. But these are really good. Okay, now for the non-food items. I got two of these star chip and dip trays. I got one in red and one in blue. If you recall, I did pick up the blue ones before for an imaginary party that my husband's gonna have for his Dallas Cowboy friends. Um, anyway, these two are for an actual party we're going to for 4th of July. And I'm gonna put a vegetable tray in one and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna put in the other ones. Maybe crackers with a cheese dip? I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna make two trays to take with us for that party. They specifically asked for a vegetable tray, so that's what one of them is gonna be. And then they had these out last year. I think it was last year. And I just picked up a couple more. These are the activity paint trays. But you can use them for other things. I got a pink one and a blue one. They open like this. I figure these are good for lots of different crafts because then you can just close it up and keep whatever you're working on safe. And yeah, I don't know. Let me know your ideas, what you might do with this. And I thought it would be good for little kids in the car if they're drawing. You can put pen, a pencil in here. Wouldn't necessarily take paints in the car, but you know, I thought these would be for lots of different things. Give me your suggestions down below. I got a pink and a blue. I don't know where I'm going to put these. Next I found these white fuzzy scrunchies. It's a two piece three birds design and I just like them so I got them for myself. Then I found this mask bar gray clay sheet mask and it says clarifies and revives with kaolin and clay. I don't know if I'm saying that properly and charcoal powder. So I got that one. And then I got two of this mask that I found. It's called a, oh, where's this made by the way? Look Beauty, Dublin, Ireland. Oh, made in South Korea. I guess it's distributed by Look Beauty Limited, but it's made in South Korea. Then I found this pineapple sheet mask. It says, pineapple sheet mask, which I just said, cleansing, hydrating, contains pineapple extract and celery extract. So there you go, I did get two of these. It's by Ingredients. This one is, oh, this is mask bar as well. So it is made in South Korea and it's by Look Beauty in Dublin, Ireland. I got two of these. So here are some items, I saw Anna haul these as well. This is by Spa Essentials. It's Glow Niacinamide Serum, Brighten and Tone, and it has the little beads in there, if you can see them. Whoops, let me back you guys up. And then I got the Spa Essentials Dew Hyaluronic Acid Serum. These are 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. This also has the little pearl things in it. Um, if you hear coughing in the background, <laughs> our daughter came home and now she's sick. So sometimes she's coughing. I'll try to cut it out, but just in case. And then I found Plump. It's a collagen serum, smooth and firm. Also one ounce. What did this one say? Hydrate and restore, brighten and tone. So I picked up one of each of those to try. Then I found another one of the puzzles. This is a, hold on, oh, 1,000 piece puzzle. It is by Gallison. It's called Zodiac Power, and it's got all of the Zod Zodiac signs. There's me, I'm Virgo, whoops. So in our immediate family, we have 
three Virgos and two, where are they? Aquarius. <laughs> My husband and daughter are both Aquarius and the boys and I are all Virgos. Anyway, so I picked this up. It has a retail value of $16.99. And it's 27 by 20 inches when it is done. And this is heavy with one arthritic hand. <laughs> it's pulled up with one arthritic hand. So Monet, Monet crackers are moving over. And we'll put the puzzle here. Hmm. We don't need both of the, all three of those. Are they in the shop? Maybe. Then I found these Sure Fresh reusable stretch silicone seals. You get three in the pack. One is 11 by 11, one is eight and a half by eight and a half, and one is six by six. I guess I could have just said squared. They are microwave, freezer, and food safe. I would hope they're food safe. BPA free. And these are a green briar product because they're Sure Fresh. And I got two of those, and they are three different colors, as you can see here, green, blue, and clear. I thought these were really kind of cool. These were on a clip strip. Back you up in one of the stores. They were in the Middle River store, if anybody's looking for them. And lastly, I found some books. The first one is The Woods Are Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins. It was $17.99 US. Best friends Nina and Josie spent high school as outsiders, but at least they had each other. But now with college and a 2,000 mile separation looming on the horizon, they have one last chance to be together. A three-day hike deep into the woods of the Pisgah National Forest. I don't know if I said that right. Anyway, it looked interesting. So I bought that one. Then I saw this one, Small Doses, Potent Truths for Everyday Use by Amanda Seals. And this was $26 US. It says comedian, writer, actress, and social media star Amanda Seals is a force of nature who has fearlessly and passionately charted her own course through life and career. Honest advice for the side effects of life. We'll see. This isn't really something I would normally read, but we'll see what happens. I probably won't read it. I'll probably give it away. And then I saw Anna haul this one too. This is Pete Townsend, The Age of Anxiety, a novel. You must learn to wait. The moment will come. Waiting is the black art of creativity, not inspiration. Be ready, be alert always. And then when the moment comes, you will be waiting. And you will have nothing else to do, nothing better to do than to fall in love all over again. Okay. This was $28 in the U.S., and it says, a former rock star disappears on the Cumberland Moors. When his wife finds him, she discovers he has become a hermit and a painter of apocalyptic visions. I mean, it sounds cool. <laughs> so I got that one. And then lastly, I found this one together. Luke Adam Hawker. And dark clouds were looming in the distance. We watched them gather and we wondered, when will it come? How long will it last? A monumental storm brings huge and sudden change. We follow a man and his dog through the uncertainty that it brings to their lives. Anyway, let me open it. This is what I thought was interesting. This is what it looks like. I just think it looks kind of cool. Obviously a quick read, maybe even for children. I have no idea. But I decided to pick it up and check it out. All right, so that's everything I bought this time around, mostly at stores in Maryland. A couple of items from the store in Manchester. Now I have those pictures of items I saw, but didn't necessarily need. Thought you might like to see, so check those out and meet me right back here.
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram and Facebook at Lee's Home 05 and now on TikTok at Lee's Home. Thanks for watching. Bye.